New research has shown where William Shakespeare lived in London when he was writing Romeo and Juliet. It was previously known the playwright lived close to the site of Liverpool Street Station between 1597 and 1598. But theatre historian Geoffrey Marsh has cross-referenced various official records to pinpoint the exact location. Evidence suggests the Bard lived at what is now known as 35 Great St. Helens, a site next to St. Helens Church occupied by an office block. Over a decade of research, Mr. Marsh discovered that in the 1590s, Shakespeare was a tenant of the Company of Leather Sellers, the guild that organized the Elizabethan leather trade. His home was most likely in a cluster of properties that overlooked the churchyard of St. Helens, yards from where the Gherkin stands today, Mr. Marsh said. Mr. Marsh, who is also the director of the Victoria and Albert Museum's Department of Theatre and Performance, said, the place where Shakespeare lived in London gives us a more profound understanding of the inspirations for his work and life. Within a few years of migrating to London from Stratford, he was living in one of the wealthiest parishes in the city, alongside powerful public figures, wealthy international merchants, society doctors and expert musicians.